What is a lightning app and how can you build one? Well, that is what this video is all about. And it's an incredibly exciting topic because the lightning network is growing so incredibly fast and it is a fascinating technology. Not only does it enable fast border cross-border payments within seconds and it's so incredibly, incredibly cheap as well. So lightning is a fascinating technology. And I'm sure you already know how Lightning works and how you can use Lightning, but not many people know how you can actually build apps using Lightning. And in order to understand that, we're first going to talk about what a Lightning app actually is, and then talk about how you can actually build one. What do you need in order to build one? And I want to mention as well that this, um, that what I'm saying in this video here is just a short summary of an entire course that we released over at the Ivan on Tech Academy where I teach. So if you're interested in learning step by step how to actually build a lightning app, then that course is for you. It's called uh, lightning and lightning app programming, I think. And I'll leave a link to the academy course in question below. You can check that out if you want to learn every detail of what the Lightning Network is, how it works under the hood, and how you can build one of these apps. This video is just gonna be a short summary of what a Lightning app is and how you build one. So it's not at all in the same amount of detail as the entire course. But with that being said, let's start by talking about what a Lightning app actually is and then progress from there and talk about how you build one. All right, so what is a Lightning app? I'm not going to explain lightning in this video because I assume they already know what lightning is. If you want an explanation about lightning and how it works, we might be able to do that in another video, but you'll learn that in the course as well. So a lightning app is really pretty simple and all it is really is an app or a website of any sort. I'm mainly uh, building a lightning websites that in some way communicate with a lightning node and uh, some sort of invoicing uh, service perhaps where you create lightning invoices and they interact with these and offer these as payments for whatever services uh, you have in your website or app so you it's basically just an app that uses lightning payments and uh, then the difficult part there's two two difficult parts to this i would say the first one is to find what are you going to sell because lightning open up opens up new possibilities to sell to sell incredibly cheap stuff right you can you can take payments for a fraction of a cent without losing that much in uh, in fees because it's so cheap so you can sell other type of stuff that you could not really sell before because if you were to charge let's say you had you know you were to charge with a credit card instead i mean if you're charging below one dollar then you're really not making any profit all of that would just be fees card fees so now you can really sell small things you can, you can use micro payments in a way that you couldn't before and um, that's one thing that you need to figure out what to sell right that is the hardest part and uh, maybe you can come up with something that is innovative that could not be done before that is now uh, that has now been enabled by these cheap micro payments that are also so incredibly quick they settle in seconds so really really cool so you, you should figure out something unique that you can sell over the lightning network that is the difficult part number one but that is more of a business problem the problem number two is to set this up how can I have a lightning node and an invoicing service that creates invoices and uh, that, uh, you know, delivers the product and where I also have an API that I can uh, create invoices with and I can check the status of invoices and all of that. And, you know, I need to be able to detect payments maybe also through the API. I hope you can see that, maybe my face is in the way. Uh, all right, so this is a difficult part. And there is, however, uh, a solution that is relatively easy to install, and that is called BTC Pay Server. And I'm not affiliated with this, this is an open source project, but BTC Pay Server gives you all of this 
in just one simple to install package. It's at least pretty simple. And that will give you a, uh, it will give you a Bitcoin node, a full node. It will give you a lightning node. And it will give you this invoicing service and it will wrap all of this uh, in an API that is easy to use. And it all comes in this pre-packaged uh, way that you can deploy on Azure, on AWS, or on your own server if you have one at home. And uh, what I did in the course was I, I host one of these myself and then I let all of the students in the course access my BTC pay server so they don't have to do it themselves. They can just focus on building this fun stuff. But if you want to run your own BTC server, you can do that as well. So now that you know what a Lightning app is, I'm going to show you what uh, a Lightning app actually looks like because I've built one and I want to show you what it can look like. All right, so here we are. This is what I've built and this is what you'll learn to build in the course. It doesn't look too beautiful, but it is very, very functional. So once uh, this is just basic HTML and uh, you can select the product here, it has a price, uh, 50 cent, $1, $2. I'll select the pizza and then you can enter your uh, your email address and enter your address. It doesn't re I don't really verify my address here. I gotta be honest with you. Then you press send, and then you will be presented by a beautiful lightning invoice. Look at that. And this is, of course, coming from our own BTC Pay node. So it's completely open source, it's non-custodial, all of that good stuff. You can just scan the invoice, boom, and then you're done. And then you open up your Lightning wallet. And you can use your phone, you can just scan that invoice right there. Or, I, since I'm on a computer, I will use Zapier and I will pay this invoice. So I need to get the Lightning invoice uh, string here. I can't use the QR code, so I'm going to scan that. Open up my Lightning wallet, click on Pay paste that invoice into there, it's 11,000 satoshis, $1, send that, and this should take no time. There you go, payment was successful, bam, here is my store, I've sold something, and I can click close, it will go back and it will verify the payment and it will say thank you. So here you would deliver your product, I have not implemented an actual product, I have just done the tech stuff right here. And this is just an incredibly easy piece of code, it's not that difficult from a programming point of view, so it's just a Node.js application with uh, Express. And we have a few routes here for creating the invoice and using all of that data to create the Lightning invoice with our BTC Pay server. So it's really the integration there between BTC Pay server and, and Lightning that's the difficult part, which we do in the course. But once you have that, the actual JavaScript program is not that hard. It's a simple back in here with a few routes. We have a uh, simple, let's see, where's our, um, where's our invoice page? We just display the invoice using BTC once again incredibly easy once you have that set up and the index file yeah just a normal uh, normal form you can create that however you want so really if you're interested in doing this i'll leave a link to where you can how you can install the btc pay server you can do that or if you want to uh, have all of that done already and you want to have simple instructions you can follow along step by step this is what we do in the academy so if you're interested in learning how to program on Lightning, how to install that Lightning node, how to install this Lightning API, how to create invoices, then you should definitely enroll in the Academy and take our newest course. I'll left the link down below if you want to join. And then, you know, we can walk hand in hand and I'll help you out along the way. But all of this is completely possible with all the resources here on the channel. Uh, you just need a Lightning node, you need the BTC Pay server, which I've linked below. Then it is a very simple setup. You're only doing a few API calls to your BTC Pay server with using uh, the BTC Pay Node.js uh, library as well. So I'll be happy to help you out if you have any questions below. But otherwise, the Academy is the place to be if you want to become a Lightning expert. We go through everything, uh, how Lightning works from the very beginning all the way to details, talking about funding transactions, committing commitment transactions and the breach remedy transactions in lightning so it's incredibly incredibly informational a lot of information there so make sure to check that out by clicking the link below and if you have any questions about lightning you can leave them below or if you have built a lightning app i would love to see it so please publish that below if you have any examples of a good lightning app maybe that you have built or someone else have built please post it below and i'll be happy to check it out
If you have any other questions, leave them below and I'll be happy to answer them there. Also, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and get subscribed to the channel, hit that bell button. Then that way you won't miss any of my next videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.